Hello and welcome to the space that gives you inspiration on work, on life and how to balance both worlds. February, the month of love, obviously we're in the life side of things, in the work-life balance. And on February 25th, I will have cooked for 10 years. <laughs> and I'm, I'm to, to, to my set. I'd like to invite the one I've been cooking for. Yeah? Yeah, come on now. It's the Brian Molondo. <laughs> <laughs> really, Brian? Yeah. Really? You have to make your grand entree. Yeah, and that's, and that's your grand entree. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Brian, 10 years. Mm. 10 years of us doing life together. Mm. And if you were, if you were to kind of like look through the ten years, I think I think we've had a beautiful, like I think we've had quite the dramatic and the beautiful ten years. Like it, it, it's been majorly drama. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, honey. Wow. Majorly drama, but right. uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take it. You. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. I'll take it. Today I wanted us to share with the people that follow this um, channel mm. some of the lessons that we've both learned being married for the past 10 years. Mm. And we'll start with you, like some, <laughs> wow. some, some major no, lessons. No, 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 I suggest we do uh -huh. this way. Uh -huh. We do how the marriage has been, mm -hmm. you know, like you 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 tell me what you've learned then i just add <laughs> <laughs> really Brad? Yeah, yeah. really that's not true but since this is my show mm -hmm. i'm the one who tells people what to do okay yeah i can only submit to you when they press stop because <laughs> when i press stop like this i'm no, the submission we'll board but now okay. yeah do you think you could share like one key lesson i'll react to it obviously but yeah okay first of all i think I think me, I've been married for 15 years. Yeah, but why does my husband say yeah. these things? I've why? been married for 15 why? years. Why? Remember, like the first day I talked to you, I told, okay, the second day. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. I told you I was going to marry you. Yes, you did. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> so you that... The first time you saw me, the, I mean, the time you saw me on the bus, you were like, yeah, you That's got the, married. Yeah, right away. Yeah. It's like, this is the babe. Ah, it's done. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I feel like I've been in the relationship longer <laughs> than you. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I, I don't know. Lessons. Yeah. Why do I feel like lessons is quite a tough because you you still have to even when you get the lesson you still have, have to, to unlearn learning. the lesson because yeah. my friend here when she watches something when she goes out to interact with someone um she comes back with her mind yeah. changed. so yeah. probably that's the that's, That's the, biggest the only lesson in marriage, I yeah. think, overall. It's so funny, You Brad. should not cram anything. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny because that was also me, my, kind of like my biggest lesson, yeah. being married, is that because the world is changing, we are all changing. Yeah, yeah. So you're constantly changing. I'm constantly changing. The situation around me causes me to change in a certain way. Like the Manuela I was, and you know, I keep telling you that, man, that Manuela you're talking about is the one of 2009. <laughs> and I'm like, but you. It's like, hey, Brian, Manuela. Brian, that, that Manuela is for last year. Last year, that's yeah. last year's Manuela. Yeah, Diana Bugs knows this story. <laughs> but the Manuela of this year is like this. And I think that's one of the reasons that's why it's important to keep dating each other. Mm. as couples to keep dating each other keep so that you know who you are with at that time and at that point yeah so so i think <clears throat> for me that that has been a very major lesson. even i'm still learning this yeah even now yeah. yeah so to be able to know that someone 
if she liked samosas 10 years ago she didn't like <laughs> yeah, samosa anymore, anymore. yeah if like she, i loved milkshakes and now I like they'd have to be with almond milk because so. you are on a serious, you know, like yeah. health thing going yeah. on. So for me to just bring a Java's, uh, you know, right flavor every day, it doesn't. You he know, did not. Uh, I love them, <laughs> uh, but yeah, those things, people are dynamic. Yeah. So I think that has been that is my biggest, biggest lesson. lesson. Yeah. And. Yeah. I'm okay. sad that we had the same biggest lesson because that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. That people are always changing and but my next biggest lesson has been um that well in marriage you you can't change anyone. Like I can't change you. I have no power to change you. Who are I you only to change? yes, exactly. Mm. I only have power to change you. myself yeah yeah so it's either i'm changing how i do things or i change how i react to you mm. when you do something that might annoy me instead of trying to make you mm. change yeah mm. what have you have you but you have the power to change the ring if it doesn't fit wow, wow. <laughs> 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 yeah i i can i change it yeah i think you can i want now a black ring Wow, Mr. Mlodo. Like, I don't like black rings, Mr. Mlodo. Cause like, because like, I would look so like fly. <laughs> like when, when I'm at events, people are like, oh my God, he has a black ring. It will ring. not look like a marriage ring, leave us alone. Really? No, it won't. It will okay. just look like decor. <laughs> and uh, please, I don't want people disturbing you. You and know, I you are too so. busy. I'm, yeah. I make you too busy. You <laughs> don't need any more women making you busy. <laughs> huh? Yeah. What what were you saying? I was saying that lesson. I um, I don't of know if change. You, yeah, 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 no, Mr. You, Mlondo, that you can't I can't change. change. Yes, yes. Yeah, that yeah. I think we had one of those as a a challenge in in the marriage. Yeah. Where we felt like, oh, let me change so you know Brian can be happy, and the truth is, because we are constantly evolving, I cannot be happy. Sometimes yeah. I may not even realize the change you've made. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, I never ch see it because I'm always perfect. Yeah. You understand? As an individual, you As always individual. feel like you're perfect. Yes. So you can't see what the other person is doing to be oh. better for you. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And your perfection. So even if I'm changing myself, like if, because the lesson that I've learned. Is that me i cannot change brian yeah like i cannot tell brian that this is how he has to do his stuff mm. the best that i can do is change myself yeah to say oh well if that's what this is how brian does it and it affects me in in, in in such a manner this is how i should react this is maybe how i should react not me going out after brian and going like but brian yeah do it do stuff like this that's why it's, you'll find couples that are like I, I know my person. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, how do I say? Sometimes those people have just resigned to the fact that. That's their person. That's their person. Yeah. And also, some people don't just stop and recognize, okay, today I think I've messed up. Let me, let me change it. Yeah. So, I'll give you an example. Mm. Um, I think. A couple of days ago, we had a conversation on the kids doing uh, tests. Yeah. And, you know, uh, my my reaction as Brian was reinforcement of guys. This is important for not just for you, but for us. You know, yeah. we've, we've, we've taken all this time, hired a tutor. Like, your two years have not been dead like many kids. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's what is happening in my in the back of my mind. Mm. I have not transferred that information to you. You don't know it. Yeah. What you are receiving is me telling them you better not screw this up. Yeah. 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 That's um, what you told the kids, yeah. That's what I that. told them. Yeah. Uh, but in my head I have processed all this information. Yeah. Uh, yo. Somebody had to train. <laughs> someone's someone's home changed. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's home changed so they can take care of you. The children. Yeah, yeah. People had to 
work around the two of you. Yeah. So it's not about you. Yeah. It's not about how you woke up feeling not so good. Yeah. No. There are so many variables. So my delivery is to the kids. To the yeah. kids is there's gonna be some trouble yeah. if you don't do well. Do well. Um, but when you called me and you told me, boss, yeah, you know, like, eh, eh, let us. It had to take me, me, yeah, to say, okay, when they wake up, I want to talk to them. Yeah, and some of us, and it takes long for some of us to stop and recognize, like, okay. I might have reacted in a bad way, so let me let me correct it, yeah. or let me sandwich it. Yeah. Uh, so that is a lesson for me. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes when they hook you up with feedback, stop. Yeah. And think, then correct it. Yeah. 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 That's 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 so true. And actually, I, I liked how you approached it because then you spoke with them. Because I remember telling you that. You know, I uh, the kind of father that you want to be. First of all, you already have bright children, so telling them if they don't do well, they they will do well. So what they needed from you was to hear, "I know you will do well," mm. and they, it would have had the same effect as if you don't do well. It's just that if you don't do well comes with a sour taste. Yeah. And the "I know you will do well" comes with a much, a yeah. much, a much better taste. Yeah. Um, another lesson I learned, and I've never got taken this, you know, taken you by it, but was the importance of roles. Uh-huh. Whose role is whose in a marriage? Mm. Knowing what your role is in a marriage and sitting in it. Because I think one of the reasons that we fought a lot at the start of the marriage was because you, you'd actually keep saying, Manuela, we can't have two bulls in one crowd. Mm-hmm. Um, there's only one lion in over what? Why well, you'd give me what? No matter the weather <laughs> of the a park, a lion cannot eat grass. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah. just knowing what my role is vis-a-vis your role, for me was such a big lesson. Mm. And I also still feel like it's a lesson that we are in the journey of doing mm. even right now as we speak do you have what are your thoughts on that on that one so this is the problem yeah i grew up with a, a single man yeah i know i can do literally everything yeah in the house yeah the only thing i can't do alone is you know yeah right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um and so i sometimes i am pushed yeah. to just do this thing so i i hear men who say i struggle with shopping i'm like shut up yeah you know like that is just shopping walk into the uh, shopping mall mm-hmm. walk and get what you're supposed to do i do that easily but i understand you know for them yeah why it might be difficult they didn't see that happen in their yeah. lives while yeah. growing up so um and so I will be honest with you, I am still learning, learning to let go of that. So yeah. once in a while it crops up and I'm like, guys, can I bring this? Yeah, and then, and then we are and like... And then I can, uh, I can hear you in, 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 you know, I can hear your voice, you're hesitating to talk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's something I have to, it, it's, it, that's a, an ongoing lesson. Once in a yeah. while it pops up. Yeah. But that's because of how I was raised. Yeah. To, to take care, to do these things. Like I wake up and cook breakfast, yeah, easily, yeah, without it being attached to romance, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just something that I know that how you to can do, do. Yeah, yeah. So. which also I appreciate though. Like I don't say that you should stop. <laughs> uh, but uh, right. <laughs> twenty twenty two. <laughs> You're coming. You know, I I absolutely love that. Is there any other lesson you want to share before we? I close? think for for dudes, yeah. for dudes. I will say this. I will say this, and this is something I think I learned in in a, in a second year. Mm. I think third year, second or third. You you need to know what kind of marriage you want. Not to know. You need to communicate. Yeah. What kind of marriage you want? Yeah. So let me tell you why. Mm-hmm. Um. I think <laughs> I think we learned yeah. 
that I am I am half a traditional man yeah and half a modern man yeah and that's very confusing guys i swear to god because i don't know when he's modern and when he's traditional so, so like i would love like to dress up go to a top restaurant and eat away yeah yeah i can do this yeah as long as there's money <laughs> but <laughs> also because i grew up knowing that no matter what we did throughout the the entire week Sunday no one ate out yeah there was a family meal even my part time father yeah <laughs> was always home on, on Sunday. Sunday and it was a non negotiable yeah so half traditional half, half modern. modern yeah so i think most men what we do is to is to say i want to spend the rest of my life with you and then we 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 communicate that dreams yeah it's a babe like i can't believe this will be in our own home yeah we'll travel the world yeah and then the girl comes huh? yeah the girl has seen the bait and not the what <laughs> right what do they call it the fish line yes you see the bait and not the fish line our yeah. fish line is majorly traditional yeah like i want to come back home to a home cooked meal. Yeah. We can't be eating out every night. Yeah. The bait is Paris. Yeah. Yeah. True. So And as the chicks, we come for Paris. Oh, it's please. so true. We even dress up for Paris. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But you are not seeing uh that this bait has come uh that above the water. Yeah. There's a, a an entire fish line probably two guys are waiting because yeah. they think it's a shark wow. they've captured yeah. so they keep pulling and for you guys like, and be warm be warm yeah. and then you're shocked yeah. and you leave the house yeah because you are so shocked yeah but that is not your problem that you're leaving it's because the 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 person at the end of this fish line never told you mm-hmm. that by me at the end we are going to get you and put you in your cooler mm. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you you are unaware of that yeah. and so that's where you hear uh, people saying the man changed all of a sudden yeah he never really changed i before. never changed by yeah. the way i've always been like that it's just that i never told you, you. didn't no you didn't know even me I and didn't you know. didn't communicate it okay yeah when i realized it yes. i didn't communicate i just mouthed it yes and then you said Oh my god. It must be those friends of yours. Yeah. yeah. Who now tell you I have to kneel down. <laughs> Kumbe you've always been a guy who likes chicks yes. with you. Fire yes. on the mountain. Yes. But anyway, yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. No, so no, no. there was there was you you'd always talk about opinions. Yes. Yeah. Your opinion is not necessarily needed all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that goes for both, honestly, yes. for both women and the men, yeah. But I think because as dudes we are naturally problem solvers yeah we want to sort it out give your opinion if you communicate yeah. a challenge i want to solve it yeah and then i will say okay let's do this yeah 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 there are guys who have mastered you know how to communicate those things but there are many of us who don't know yeah so if you tell me um i'm having a challenge deciding where okay let's do this yeah and so it comes off as you you want to influence decisions here i'm yeah. like not really yeah. but i am a problem solver yeah and i'm giving an opinion and i'm giving my opinion <laughs> and we, we and it and it's the one that will work anyway yeah. so let's move with it yeah yeah uh but the other thing that i've also learned is you 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 you're dropping gems huh i'm, I'm dropping, dropping, <laughs> dropping dropping it dropping. like it's hot but the other thing that i've also learned uh is <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> hit me hit me i don't know if it is a lesson uh, i don't know if it is a lesson but ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see how you have probably extended the fight now you're being you guys, let me tell you something <laughs> as you grow up yeah as you grow up Yeah. I think when life takes over. Yeah. You realize that <laughs> marriage 
It's not jiggy jiggy. It's, it's not all that. Yeah, yeah, it's not that. No, it's <laughs> all yeah, that. Remember, I hear you remember, It's all that, but it's not about jiggy jiggy. Like, man, the way I hustle. Eh? Yeah. Like, I come home to just sleep. Yeah, yeah. For lack of a better word. Yeah, what did Bianca say the other day when you were watching TV? She went like, and he is asleep. And man, I was... <laughs> And I was out. You know, I was listening to you guys. I could hear you. But but eh, the the heart was weary. But the body, but the body said, bro, it let ain't happening. Because <laughs> I remember there was a day that you came through, and then you started to say those statements, which kind of prepare me. Like, damn, man, you're so hot. I was like. Yeah. Mm, it's going down. It's like, I, I see where we are going, so I best get myself ready. Blah 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 blah. I'm still saying myself, let me get, best get myself. Bro, I was <laughs> out. <laughs> out like a light. I was like, Han, I was Han, out. You did not want to hear. You did not ask. Like, isn't this the guy who has been? Uh... Mm, so I was out. <laughs> yeah, you woke up in the morning and complained like, about what's it. What's up? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I was like, Munang, <laughs> yeah. biology happened. <laughs> <laughs> so I've, let me share a lesson that I've learned, I think for the, that's really good for the women. And this I actually learned from our friend Rosette Najemba. Mm. And um, she said she didn't fight anymore. Like she didn't hey. fight in her marriage anymore, right? Uh, but she also does the girl at all. So where does she, she does, send it? So where does she send it? So she said, because I don't fight, and I don't keep quiet either. She's learned the technique of one-liners. Mm -hmm. Where your friend annoys you, but instead of quarreling, which is what you would like to do, first chill and ask yourself, why is it exactly that I'm annoyed, right? Keep it. He does it a second time, a third time, so that you come up with one line, a one-line statement, instead of so many lines. Because I feel like for you men, as long as someone goes past the first sentence, that's it. You can't hear anymore. You're over-talking. You're over -talking. You're now a, what are those who say? <laughs> Nagging words. The parrot. The parrot. <laughs> you become a parrot. Mm -hmm. So when she told me that, I said, okay, let me let me try this out. So what happens is, so you piss me off, and I'm just like, okay, I'm, I I get that I'm pissed off, and I want to I want to say I want to communicate, but now it's just not the time because I don't have that one line statement for which yeah, immediately good. I'm done. You get the point. It's communicated. Yeah. So as long as I'm still hot, I say, no, no, no. Come back, Manuela. Why exactly are you upset? What exactly is the challenge? And I've found that now, every time, for example, I call you, like the last time I called you about the kids, my statement was just very clear. I said, you know, Bran, I don't know what kind of father you want to be, whether you want to be the <laughs> one that wants your children or the one that encourages your children. <laughs> what happened last evening? Made your children feel like fire, fire, fire. When they wake up, call me now. Call me now. Exactly, but now the yeah, former me, the, the Manuela of 2005, would have told me, Brian, let me say, no, you don't have experience in children. Like, uh, I know that I and about 20 million in Ghana. And the psychology, you know, the, the way the brain is wired. By the time you tell me what you yeah, want, what you, I'll be like, you're no longer listening. I have to work. I'll yeah. call you back. And I feel like also for us women, when we are, when we go past that one liner, we end up going into the past, fishing from the past, you and remember then it even becomes last more, time. Exactly. So I feel like men only hear one sentence, and so as a woman, like right now, the lesson that I'm learning is to first hold on and kind of like calculate my statement, so that by the time I come to you. Even if I'm really pissed off, my statement is very, and that's because very we, clear. Because we are logical, built yeah. to solve. Yeah. So when you tell me, yeah, I'm like, okay, I need to fix this. Yeah. The longer you talk, <laughs> or the more complicated you, you make, make your it. communication, I lose it. Yeah. I'm like, it looks like you have the solution. Yeah. You solve it. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You solved it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Um, I think we've had, you know, a good 10 years of learning lessons. And I think one of the things that Brian and I said to each other is that 
in our journey learning how to work through you know our marriage with each other it would be so sad for some guy like x number of years later we break up and then somebody else gets the rewards of us having fought through this it's just not fair and so i guess we are, we stick it out because we know when it's done it's worth it it, it will be worth it like the fights will be less will be actually because all the fights here are for us to enjoy our marriage yeah. so the the hope is that by the end of it we shall be at a place where we can fully enjoy the marriage yeah, and and l- let me just say this to close right so if you've been married more than 5 years the loving has stopped yeah make sure it even stops okay make money yeah because love they tell you <laughs> you poor <laughs> no longer works. works yes love has to be facilitated by money so 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 make money and yeah. how do you make money get people and we are telling you things we have done yeah get people who number one are better than you that both of you are green tea but to see they win us yeah. yeah. We we have some couple friends who are yeah. ha, the banang. These guys have work. Yeah. Tag. Tag along. Tag along. Yeah. And let them like let you into their world. And how they do. And how they invest. Why they invest. Where they invest. And we've done those things. Yeah. 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 Um, and do those things with them. Yeah. And while you're doing that, you're also able to learn from them. Yeah. yeah. So if you if you've been married more than five years, yeah. the honeymoon is over. Yeah. Now you need to get to look outside of yeah, the you need two to of you. Look outside, because because also it's hard get people you, you you that you're accountable to or you talk to. Yeah. Okay. It's so hard. I will tell you if we are going to get married. This is when they tell you they need mature people. In yes, marriage. in marriage. They don't mean age. Yeah. No, you need to have a heart. You need to have your mind must be working 24/7. Yeah. Why be why why is that? Because you're not just wanting to preserve your five-year marriage. Yeah. They are constant generations that come after you. Yeah. Yeah, you are the foundation. Yeah. You have to be strong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? You have to be yes, strong. You're so right. Actually, you reminded me of another, you know, really quick lesson um, about compromise. Finding the in-between. But I don't want to say it the way people usually say it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I want to say find, like, Bran, Bran, if you're usually in marriage, some of the reasons as to why we fight is because we are fighting for our own best interest. Of course. Yeah? Each of us. That's why we are fighting. So let's imagine if... I was all about your best interest and you were all about my best interest. That means my best interests have been taken care of and your best interests therefore have been taken care of. And so you have less fighting knowing fully well that someone has your best interest at heart. And the reason I say this is because of one of the couples that we were working with, you know, that we work with, where the lady had a challenge with her husband who used to spend nights awake through the week because he was a hard party guy but he's a very hard working guy they you know invest immensely and all of that stuff and the guy had a challenge that for her she was, she was a party. homebody she, she you know party, she's right? a homebody she's a party pooper <laughs> exactly you know and and so the, 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 the way the compromise now works when somebody else's int- you've taken on someone best someone's best in- interest and vice versa is that now she's 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 like my husband likes to party i'll be there i'll be there i'll allow him to party he will, he will let him have the ball of his life and let let us let let him have a party and him he's like okay i'll have the party at home because my person likes, likes being, being home. at home yeah. so that means they can stay out late in the night at home. at home so she gets her best interest he gets his best interest and so both of them are now and, and they they go out a lot. and then they also go out they a lot so out. they, they... <laughs> 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 
That's and then he will also stay with her for quiet nights, quiet days and nights with her because you're looking at your friends. And if I know that Brian, you're looking out for my best interest. I'll, I'll also, I'll also look, I'll look, look out, out for your best, yeah. uh, your best That's interest. That's so cool. Man. Yeah. Ten years. Eh? Who would have thought? Who would have? Maybe for you. For you I are know. serious. No, 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 honey. You would do it. You know, no, even I... your brothers couldn't imagine that I could do it. <laughs> what am I like? I've done well. Uh, uh, Ladit. Yes. Uh, Ladit, I've done well. <laughs> He's chicken. He has eaten it and he has even yeah. finished it. Yeah, yeah Rinaldi, you finished it. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, thank you so much, Brian, for coming for this um, episode. Guys, tell us which lesson has most shocked you, which one you most liked, which one you're going to implement even right now in your own marriage. Until next time, can't wait to see you. Bye bye. Happy anniversary, darling. <laughs>